Uh, namaste, I am Dr. Soumya Shri. Today we have with us Miss Lisa from Germany. Namaste Lisa. Namaste. How are you feeling after coming to Sassi Sanjeevini? Actually, I feel like reborn and healthy and um, very energized and I really feel good. Wonderful, wonderful. Like uh, when you came to Sassi Sanjeevini, like uh, how did you reach us? Like it was through a friend or it's just a random selection? Uh, it was intuition actually. I first wanted to go in the south, like to Kerala where everyone is going, but then I felt no, it's not the place. And then I was searching in Google in my favorite place in India, Gokana, and then I found you and I was really happy that I found you because I was looking at all the pictures and it was so authentic that it just it just pulled me it just pulled oh, me wonderful but uh, most of the people have this doubt what they see in the internet is that really true or not so tell me your experience like what you found in the internet and after coming here how do you feel it was better <laughs> <laughs> like it was literally better like the pictures are already nice and it shows a just a little part of the surroundings <laughs> and the nature but the fact how it is in in reality and how dedicated you are to the topic Ayurveda and the entire family. This is such a massive inspiration how you live and how you grow and produce and cook and everything with love and it just is amazing. It's just Thank amazing. you. That means a lot because the, I know that uh, you are not just born in India but uh, when I met you I really felt like you know you are living like an Indian like you are Indian by heart. By heart. It, yes. It in, is. in one life I bet <laughs> was here. <laughs> yeah. So can I ask you like how did your journey started towards India? That's I'm more interested mm -hmm. like uh, it's so, uh, I want people to know regarding this, that not always, like whenever they think about the Western people, mm. they think uh, with a different perspective. Mm. They don't, uh, they just see the different skin color, they just see the different perspective of the life, but they don't understand that after all, we are all human beings. And uh, uh, once that wavelength or once that, you know, mindset is matched, uh, you really don't feel the difference whether you are Indian, German, French or whatever it is, you don't see the difference. So I just want, I'm curious to know that how did your journey started towards India or getting influenced by the uh, Indian culture, history and all these things? So uh, I'm traveling since many years, like I guess since 10 years now. And India, like I traveled a lot in Asia, I've seen many countries and India was always the country where I didn't dare to go, but I knew once I will go, but alone, because I was traveling with other people at that time when I was younger. And uh, with 28, I was I was finished, like developed enough to do that. And I, I had just a, I cannot describe it, but something inside me knew I'm gonna, I need to go to India and see what is there. And that journey when I was 28, five years ago, it was incredible, it mm. showed me Ah, it showed me sights and it showed me life of such another perspective I have never seen before. You cannot, you cannot um, experience life in that way in the Western world. Like it is a difference, like how people, I mean, you are from India, like how people live and how they smile and even if they have nothing, you are, you're getting so many lessons from India, just from the country and... Um, I just oh, felt that gives me like, goosebumps yes. bumps because listening such things about my country mm. uh, that makes me feel mu much more like proud about my country yeah. and uh, I really feel how blessed I am to be in this country but uh, unfortunately there are most of us who don't realize the value of our genetics so the, don't value the uh, the benefits of staying and uh, being in this country in this holy place so that's why uh, when I listen to your journey and uh, it's it feels so exciting and uh, it's there is a word like called destiny which takes you mm -hmm. wherever you are meant to reach you will reach yes. either today or tomorrow or maybe a little later mm -hmm. but the journey will be always continuous yes. and uh, even I'm so happy that uh, I found you and uh, even I heard that you are in the part of the yoga mm. and the sadhana what you are doing I really wish you all the very best for your Thank yoga you. practice the sadhana the way you are doing and the way you are into the life I'm I'm really pretty sure that you are going to you know be an amazing much more much more amazing person and a better person day by day Thank I you. wish you all the very best and lastly yeah do you recommend recommend our center 100 percent 200 percent 
yeah if you have any struggle with your yeah system and things ayurveda will help and especially this family and this center yeah try it out and you will not regret it 100 percent Thank you so much. Thank you for so much for your recommendation. And also, it's Panchakarma, you might have experience. This is not just for the body. Hmm. It cleanses you emotionally, spiritually, uh, even the socially. The way after Panchakarma, not only your body changes, your emotions will change, your way of interaction with the society will change, hmm. and even your depth of the uh, spiritual practice will change. That definitely you will observe day by day when you are. Uh, getting the results of this panchakarma because now after this parihara kala like the double time period of the treatment what you have taken that is the exact time where you will be you know getting the result day by day mm. so in that time period you will actually realize that your spiritual practice will be much more enhanced than before your uh, social interaction or uh, you know uh, the perspective to see the society is changed the emotional stability is much more and the physically yes definitely everyone can feel that difference even physically so this is what is ayurveda hmm. ayurveda is just not for the medicine not just for you know cleaning your body washing your body giving your rejuvenation not just that it is something more than that so i want you all to understand this panchakarma or the ayurveda is not just for the sick people or it is not not just to make your body correct it is to enhance the quality of your life as a whole in terms of everything it will enhance the quality of your life so yeah thank you so much for being with us and thank you so much for sharing your experience with our viewers as well we'll hope you hope to meet you soon yes could be thank you yes <laughs> thank you yeah namaste namaste